Well, welcome to another review from Rider Cam TV, and today we're going to review, or we're going to fit into this helmet a cellular line interphone tool, which is a Bluetooth headset that's got loads of functions where you can listen to the radio, you can talk with other people that have got these and older ones. Now Mark and I have both had these headsets for quite some time, but we've had the interphone F5 MC, which are the older, older style, which hopefully you can see there. The older style, and these are the newer ones, because I found mine failed after a couple of years. Really good though. You can use them to talk to each other, you can use them to answer phone calls, make phone calls, listen to the radio, but I like to just connect them with my iPhone and listen to trance music, believe it or not, as I'm riding, because it makes me feel comfortable. So, question for you, do you think that you should be listening to music while you're riding your bike? Tell us down in the bottom in the comments section. We're going to go ahead and unbox and see what's in here, and then we're going to fit it into this beautiful K-Berg. Duke Health. Right, so this Celluline Interphone Tor uh, Bluetooth headset, as we've said, does loads and loads of stuff. The one thing that I didn't mention is you can get a range. Uh, you can have up to four headsets or four of these connected. So if you're out on a tour with other people, you can connect up to four. But you can get something ridiculous like two miles of length with those four connected. So you can be out on a tour and not get lost if somebody needs to go for a wee or someone needs to go and stop for fuel. It's quite easy for them to be able to say to the lead rider that they need to stop. And it also builds a 20 hour standby. And I can use this all day long, listening to music, the odd phone call that comes in, and it's never let me down. So we're gonna unbox it and see what you get inside. Now I got this one from Ghost Bikes and it was about two, I think it was £219, which is, isn't cheap. But what I like about these is that they are waterproof. Now I don't think that if you dropped it into a swimming pool that it would still work. But as you can see, hopefully, I'll put it on a white background so you can see. Hopefully you can see that all the buttons are really nicely laid with kind of like a material that you know, even with gloves, that that you're pressing them. You've also got the lumps here that dictate when you're wearing your gloves where you're actually touching and then you've got plus and minus buttons at the top and to change the mode and a whole host of different buttons. On the back there's a handy little clip which is a micro USB uh, connection so that you can charge and that's got a handy rubberized flap that enables it to be waterproof or water resistant when you're on the bike and then on the bottom you can see this is where this plugs into all of your helmet uh, microphone and your ear pieces and it's got a rubber rubberized back now the older versions came with a tube of silicone so that you could put around here to keep it watertight so let's see what else is in the box so the box of dreams so inside we get a handy little clip which will go on the side of your helmet. We get the usual instructions in about a million languages and we've got a bracket that will go on to your helmet and rather than the sticky one you can actually clamp it. It comes with some bolts there and that goes up inside your helmet and clamps to it. So don't be worried if you've got a helmet that you don't want to stick something on the outside. I prefer the sticky one because it's always there and I haven't got this digging into my shoulder and it's quite fiddly and you've got bits here and there and everywhere. So then you get a selection of Velcro stickers and some more, I don't know what you call them, Micro, microphone filters like these these sort of things that go on you get a microphone that can be angled so when you put it in your helmet you can have it wherever you want so it doesn't get in your way and if you've got an open face helmet like Mark and I have got you can open it up and move it out of the way just if you want to have a cigarette or a cup of tea or just stop for five minutes and not have it rammed in front of your face then we've got some other sticky pads which will enable you to stick these handy little things down and these handy little things so you can see in this bag here these are the earpieces 
Now those earpieces, when we put them into the helmet, they've got a funky little, little slot there and they just literally slip in and then they'll stick onto those. But what I tend to do is I stick that literally to the side of my helmet because the helmet's got that fluffy bit so there's no need to use them and I find that they come in really handy for lots of other things around the bike. Also comes a little Phillips head screwdriver which is used to tighten up the clamps and for those of you who like riding with a closed face or a full face helmet there is a handy little microphone with a sticky pad on Velcro that you can literally stick inside your helmet like that so you haven't got to worry about it being knocked out or the bendy one getting in your way. And the final thing that you get is a charging cable. Right, this is our K-Berg Duke helmet and as you can see, I've taken all of the insert insides out. Does that make sense? Yeah, I've taken all of the bits from inside and taken them out. The reason that we've done that, rather than showing you how to take them out, is people have got a multitude of helmets and there's no point going over a K-Berg Duke because we might review it in a later date all about the helmet, but everything comes out of the helmet and then we've got several things that are laid out in front of us. So I've got the microphone, I've got the unit itself, I've got the two earpieces which are connected and then I've got the power cable. So, what I've done I've already stuck the sticky bracket on the side. Um, now the only thing, hopefully Mark will be able to get in, is you can see that that helmet's got a bit of a, a concave um, surface. Now you may have to move that around and get it so that it's got most of the surface area of the sticky pad underneath to stick it on. Now I've put it there because we're reviewing this and I've been using this helmet, but um, on some helmets, there won't be the place to put those so you can put the clamp and that literally clamps up underneath and you screw it in but like I say it hangs down about half an inch and I find that that gets stuck on my shoulder on my jacket and it gets in the way whereas this one eventually the unit would just literally clamp in and there you are rock solid so right so the first thing that I do is I put the microphone in first because the microphone needs to be I would say a good a good <laughs> a good length out the front of the helmet and you see that I've put a sticky pad in there to stick it on. Now I like to get it down as far as I can to the bottom of the helmet and in the K-Bergs much like other helmets but the K-Bergs especially have got a nice little channel there and what I've done just to stop it wrecking the microphone is just put some insulation tape on there, it's just for peace of mind, it's just because Mark and I are a bit anal about keeping bits nice and tidy. So that's that's one bit stuck in there, and I'll just move that out of the way, and I'm just going to make sure that the cable isn't caught up anywhere. Now the difficulty being with a helmet is that they roll around, and some people have got like, almost like donuts to sit them on, but I usually use a tea towel or my handy helmet bag. Two earpieces, and you might ask which side goes in which. Well, basically, the way to work that out is the one that has all the wires coming out, it's got a connection so that we can connect it to the microphone we've just put in, and it's just literally a plug and play two and a half mil um, jack. But the other one is the most important because that's got to come out to the unit where we're going to place it. Now, I've chosen to place mine on the left hand side of my helmet so I need to make sure that that one is on the left hand side because clearly it wouldn't reach across from the right hand side. So I've got a handy bit of um, sticky velcro, I've got a handy bit of sticky, sticky, I've got a handy bit of sticky velcro in there which I've already put in so I'm just going to place that there for a minute and I'm not going to stick it down too hard because I've got to kind of work out where all these cables are going to run so I know that that one needs to go out there and I know that that one needs to connect to the microphone and it's just literally, that's it. Literally just plugs in. Now I need to get rid of that. Now, some people that manufacture helmets might give me a bit of grief here, but we've got this strip here and it's kind of got some stickiness on it. So I've kind of removed, removed it and it's exposed that big hole. Now what I did on, the previous fitting was to just literally 
ram it in there and don't be afraid to be a little bit a little bit rough with it and I just rammed it in there to keep it safe keep it in out of the way now this one needs to run all the way around to the other side of the helmet so literally I'm going to run it down and I'm just going to feed it into the back of the helmet and I'm just going to do it a little bit roughly at the moment because I don't know how much wire I'll need when I get to the other side as you can see it's a little bit fiddly but it's worth it in the end because you can listen to your favourite Frank Sinatra or any music that you want to listen to on your bike Right, now this one, now that we've got all of that in place, I can stick those back over, but this one needs to go out. And what I like to do is put this unit actually onto the mount. So hopefully you can see how it goes in. There's two lugs on the outside there and there, and they fit in there, and you literally just angle them up so that they fit in there, locate them and just push until it's clicked. And the reason I do that is because I want to plug this cable in and you can see that it will only go in one way, it's a standard, I think that's a, a micro, no, I think it's either a micro or a mini, I can't, I can't work out which it is, I can't remember which. And that literally just locates into the hole and you can see that that rubberized bit gives a real good seal on there and I want to make sure that I've only got kind of that much wire exposed because I don't want it flapping about. So back over here I've kind of got the amount that I want and I'm just going to be really brutal with the helmet and just ram it down in the side and it may, some people would say you know why are you doing this but it gets rid of all the wires and it hides it because ultimately you need to make sure that you've got a comfortable fitting when it's in there. And as you can see, it's not the easiest of things to do. So I kind of get the tension on the, on the cable itself and just feed it in. I don't want to have it all bunched up in one area. So I'm just kind of using the tension on the cable itself just to push it in. Because bear in mind, the bits of the helmet are going to fit back in there. But I'm kind of happy with that. It's going to be sat just about there because I'm not going to remove that because I'll leave it on the helmet in charge. So I just want that sat like that. So when you're happy with that, it's just time to put everything back. We've fitted everything. As you can see the microphone's in there, the earpieces are underneath there, and obviously you can't see them, but it's a snug fit. The helmet you wouldn't think had been apart, and the unit itself is on the outside. We'll do a further video of how it operates, um, but we're gonna end the video there. So fit yours. Let us know what you think. If you like the video, give it a great thumbs up. It does help us an awful lot. The link will be in the description of where you can get them and more information in the description. But give us a thumbs up and subscribe.